guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here. So today I'm gonna go through a full day of eating for you. If you've ever wondered how to hit your macros on a low carb day, low carb, moderate fat, this video is for you. I'm gonna take you through a full day of eating and also what a typical grocery haul looks like for me at Costco. All right, let's get to it. So today's breakfast was two eggs, a packet of holy guacamole, you got me that little packet thing, mm -hmm. and then this green drink that I've replaced my coffee with. We are on our way to the happiest place on earth, which for us is Costco. Yeah. <laughs> we just stopped and got some energy drinks. First time trying the, what's it called? Rockstar. Rockstar watermelon. It tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Mm. And we've got a Fit Crunch bar because they're amazing. And then I got a Power Crunch salted caramel. I'm not going to eat it now. I'm going to eat it later. I'm going to put it in the freezer so they're better frozen. So, like I said earlier, today is a low carb day for me. I think my total macros are 120 carb, uh, 60 something fat, and 140 protein. So, had breakfast. Not gonna have any samples at Costco. It's probably the hardest thing for me is not sampling because it's just a bite. You don't think about it at the moment, but all those little Especially bites add up. July 4th weekend when they give out cheesecake too. So. Oh man, I didn't think about that. Yes. <laughs> July 4th weekend. Samples on samples. So no samples for me. Of course they have ice cream. Henrik is trying to get me to eat one. Not gonna eat it. You got two? One for you if you want a bite. <laughs> you bought two of them? Or not bought? Two Sample. samples? All for you? If you want a little sample. <laughs> okay, so we have three bags of the sweet kale salad mix. We love this salad mix. It's super yummy. It has broccoli, uh, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, kale, chicory, and then it comes with dried cranberries, pumpkin seeds, and poppy seed dressing, but we don't always use that. Some vegetables, Brussels sprouts, tomatoes, apples. We have ground turkey and chicken. We've been getting the organic ground turkey and it actually is better on my digestion. Jam, almond butter, egg whites, and this is something new for us. We're gonna try coconut milk. Yum! So that's typically what we get, and this lasts us about a week. Um, so that's usually what we get, and um, we also get flank steak, but we already had some of that in the freezer. And the protein usually lasts us about a week and a half, uh, depending on how many Green Bites Cafe meals we eat, and then the eggs always last us about a week or two. So we don't always get this every week, but um, some things we get every other week. The vegetables we get every week because we go through these like crazy, we love these salads, and that's about it. So next, I'm going to make myself some lunch. We might take a nap, it's about 1.30 now. Probably head to the gym around three or four. So I've just been at my desk working. Ooh, see my shoulder muscles. Um, I'm working on editing some YouTube videos and doing client check-ins, um, answering emails, answering text messages. That's kind of pretty much what I do on Sundays. But, um, so we don't do like meal prep. I know you guys just saw like everything that we brought from Costco. We don't do like meal prep, meal prep, but what we do is um, like when we grill chicken, we'll grill a bunch of it in advance. So last night we grilled chicken or like yesterday afternoon. And then after I grill, I just, you know, portion them into little Tupperwares like this. And then same with rice. So like last night we had chicken, rice, and vegetables, and this is just a leftover rice. And then when I go to make lunch, um, since it's already made, all I have to do is put it on a plate. Um, we're gonna be working out in like an hour, so I didn't wanna eat too much, but what happens, and this always happens to me on the weekends, is like I don't eat enough, and then I'm left with a, a ton of macros at the end of the day. And it's not always the smartest decision to do it like that. So I'm just gonna have like a little snack. <laughs> it's literally, like the smallest portion but I'm just put some chicken rice and kale salad in the microwave I heated that up I think I'm gonna also put a little slice of laughing cow cheese I'm not a big cheese person I 
but um, I'm gonna try putting that on there. I think that'll be good. And for my pre-workout, so this is like um, a snack. And in an hour when we head to the gym at like 3.30, I'm gonna have an apple. And I always buy like the smallest apples I can find at the grocery store um, because they are sort of high in carbs. And if I slice one and a half, one, that's usually like enough. But yeah, so I'm gonna eat this meal number two. I'm still hungry, so I'm gonna have my... We decided not to go to the gym until 4.30. So I'm gonna have this Power Crunch bar. If you've never had, oh, it's upside down. If you've never had these before, they're actually really good. Um, I personally like the salted caramel. The macros on this one are 13 fat, nine carbs, so perfect for a low carb day, 13 protein. From the gym and I am making a protein smoothie I just made Henrik one so this protein smoothie contains in the Vitamix we're putting one cup of coconut milk I have about two ounces of pineapple strawberries and blueberries frozen and then I'm gonna do one scoop of protein dash of salt and cinnamon and this comes out amazing I almost forgot I'm also adding hundred grams of frozen cauliflower so in the past I've done smoothies where I'm not using fruit and I've just done cauliflower and it's come out really really good um, this time around I'm putting cauliflower in with the fruit just to see if I can get more of like a creamy texture see how, see how it goes this is probably the Thickest smoothie I've ever made, and it has no xanthan gum. Oh my god! I'm gonna eat it with a spoon. I'm so excited because I never made a smooth like I've been trying to make protein fluff for a while, and I haven't been successful. And it was so there. Were, this thing was like so full. It was like overflowing. Mmm. <laughs> Last meal of the day. I have 120 grams of basmati rice, seven ounces of turkey, kale salad with poppy seed dressing. Henrik's having the same. I hope you enjoyed this video of my full day of eating low carb edition. I hit my macros pretty much pretty well. The only thing is I was about eight grams low on protein, but that's okay. Total, um, I have 136 grams of protein, 120 grams of carbs, and 61 grams of fat. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.